First of all, I beg my mercy of my spiritual master. Nitya Nida Pravishtong Vishnu Parshishmat Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Bhushwami Maharaj. And thousands of my humble Shastang Pranam to in his lotus feet. And Sam, so much humble tender pranams in the lotus foot of my Shiksha Guru, Nitya Nila Pravishtam Vishnupa, Shishman Bhakti, Vedanta Swami Maharaj. I I our whole world is indebted to Srila Swami Maharaj. That mercifully, mercifully he can. Out of India, in Eastern countries and Western countries. And in a couple of years, he preached the mission of his Chaitanya Shri Shisha, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sachinandan Gaurabhadra, Rupa Goswami, and then his Guru Dev, Nitya Lila Pravishta, Shishman Bhakti Siddham Sashwati Goswami He wrote so many books, wonderful books. He translated the authentic books of Srimad Bhagavatam Chaitanya Chaitami. He wrote Krishna Lila book. So many things. He opened almost all parts of the world. Preaching centers, publics in lakhs and lakhs books, or in important languages of whole world. So, and his master called and he. So I want to preach the same mission, not different from him. Oh, what he get this message? Oh. I'm not so much learned as him, not so realized like him, but I know this message anyhow because I have served for so many years and they are realizing his, their mercies. And though I'm, I cannot fully follow, but yet know something. 
and he also ordered me to help his devotees. No, no, don't disturb. They also want to be a fight about it. I remember one thing to tell. It may be that a bona fide guru, he mercifully, he teaches his all teachings. to all his disciples, same thing. But we know that all the disciples cannot take it same as he has told. They will take and realize according to their quality and advancement in bhakti. All cannot. Some can take it Oh, artificially, some, some may take it sincerely, falling in all way externally and internally. You know, uh, Madhavendra Puri, he was a high class of Mahabhagavat. All well, always weeping, weeping, lamenting, and so much. Ayi dinya dayatrana he mathura kada valuk kashe kadam tada alok ka dayit brahmana. He dev, he dayit, he pundi kadam. Like this, always. I'm never hopeless. I could not call you. Oh, Krishna, be merciful to me. Oh, Mathura Nath especially. The shlok uttered by Srimati Radhika herself. With deep meanings, always feeling so much separation. Especially in his last days. Especially those who have read, read Chaitanya Chaitamit you can realize this. And he had two disciples. One Ramchandra Puri and second was Ishwar Puri. Disciples of Sam Madhavendra Puri. And he was lamenting so much Madhavendra Puri. Weeping so bitterly. Ishwar Puripat used to serve him, making clear his stools and all things. And always giving consolation by the slopes of Bhagavat and all others, helping him to remind all this. And he was very happy. But Ramchandra Puri came and he told Gurudev, why you are lamenting? You should not that you are Brahma. And Brahma should not lament. lament. You should think that I am Maham Brahma. Kali, Sarvam Kali Brahma. And hearing this, he became very furious. Oh, wicked person. Nasty, atheist. I don't mean want to see your face. 
At once go away from here. I don't want to hear any word and don't want to see your face. And he quickly was broken away from there. And for Ishwarpudi he told, Oh, the love of an affection, all transcendental love of Krishna and affection, which are in gopis, also merciful, manifest in your heart. Why it becomes so? Why it becomes so? We should try to know. Uh, this Puri, what? Ramchandra Puri. Oh, he used to know. He has a false ego that I am highest in, in Tattva among all the disciples of my Gurudev. And I know he is all more than everything. And I am serving him more than anybody. And Ishwar Puripal? Oh, I am very low class of Vaishnava. I cannot serve my Gurudev for you. Gurudev be merciful to me. And sprinkle your mercy that I can know your mood and I'll serve as you wish. So humble. So, after that Mahaprabhu made his Guru to whom? Not to, not to Bharati, Kesha Bharati. He was not Guru. He was ordinary, a base data. Best data means? Only not even Sanyas mantra. No. Mahaprabhu told in his ears and took. So he is not Guru. He is only like Sanyas data, Vesh data. Dress. Eh? Or changing his dress of Sanyas. But he, who is his Guru? Don't have any doubt. Iswar Purvipar, he accepted as his Guru. Mahaprabhu is himself Guru of the whole world. But in his Narlila, human pastimes, he accepted him. Like his Viksha Guru. And he has so much regard for him that he went to the native place where this Iswar Puri has taken birth and took the dust of that place everywhere and kept something in his note. He has so much regard. So only false ego will let to that I am disciple. They should know the heart of their Gurudev, what he wanted. What was the mood of his Gurudev? Who was his Gurudev? Otherwise he will be cheated. He must be cheated. So, I have come to remember you and to help you only by his order, something, to remove some basic doubts. I will tell, begin my Harikatha from Chaitanya Chaitanya. But sometimes I will do some doubts that whether I am in the line of Swamiji uh, preaching and telling Harikatha or in other line. No, some to clear these things. Not here. <laughs> some are telling that, oh, we have served our Prabhupada more than 30 years very closely, and we have 
trained, we have been trained in a special way. I don't know what is this special. Is it that after taking sannyas and being in Nastik Brahmachari, set from cloth, uh, we should again go in a special way in family life? This is our part. This is not a special thing. If they have realized our, their thought, then they have been cheated, surely cheated. Especially I think that only four, five, six are there. They don't want to hear all these things, high class of Harikatha. The modes of gopis, or so many things. But Swamiji has never warned these things. We read it in instruction of the what he has written. Or time to time I will tell you, remind you all these things. He has written first his Krishna book, first Krishna, and he has given all the past times of Rajalila. And then he wrote anything. <coughs> he had never told like this. He has translated Chaitanya Charitamrit and Srimad Bhagavad up to ninth canto himself. Ninth canto or more? <laughs> but he has no time to write more. Brahma Mohanjika, fourteenth. But I think that if he was alive here in this world, oh, he has written, produced so many books, so many more books. So, I want to tell you something and then I will begin my classes. You know, Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami, very intelligent in their worldly life. And due to their intelligence, extraordinary intelligence. The God Bhatsa, Muslim king, invited them tested them and he kept them like Dabir Khas and Mal Sakar Man means <coughs> private secretary and minister, prime, prime minister to go. And he so much believed on them. But anyhow Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and met and after that, Mahaprabhu returned to again to Puri, telling something, advising them something. And then Rup Goswami with Anpam left world, his, his kingdom, his post, position. And he went to Vrindavan to meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. At that time Mahaprabhu was returning from Vrindavan. And he met in Prayag. And Mahaprabhu was sprinkled with blood. <coughs> and he told that, Oh, Rashas, the ocean of Rash is endless and deepless. Oh, so much. I'm giving something to you. And you should taste. And he sprinkled his mercy by his eyes by his embracing him. And everything, he became complete. And then he told so many instructions. 
And then he proceeded towards Kashi and told that you should go to Vrindavan. They both went to Vrindavan and he went to Varanasi. And there he met oh, Sanatana Goswami. In what condition he met? Mahaprabhu was sitting inside the room, anywhere. And Sanatana Goswami, like a Muslim fakir, mendicant, Muslim mendicant, he was on the door. Anyhow, he knew that Mahaprabhu is in this house and he wanted to meet, but he was shying somehow. How should I go? Because I'm like a Muslim fakir. Then our Mahaprabhu told his associates, Chandrasekhar Acharya, oh, you can see who is waiting on the door. He went there and saw none. And he returned. Oh, none waiting? I, anyone who is standing there, you should. Oh, there is a Muslim fakir. Oh, you should call him. And when he was entering, Mahaprabhu wow, ran very fast, quickly, and he wanted to embrace. And he was going back. Going back. <laughs> Mahaprabhu, you don't shoot. You should not do like that. I'm very wretched and fallen. <coughs> oh, Muslim, oh, don't touch me. But he was very restricted family of Brahmin, very learned person. But he was posing like this. Mahaprabhu told, I am not uh, touching for you. I am touching for me that I will be pure. And he quickly embraced and brought him. And he told that, uh, how you can? Oh, Krishna is so merciful, that from where? In the narak of his stool. Each of them. Or son of his stool. Oh, Krishna has brought him mercifully. Sanatana Goswami told that I don't know Krishna. I know your mercy. Your mercy has done this. And then, He, he told that you should be sept totally, munda, and then you should come. <coughs> he went to the Ganges river to talk, and he claimed everything. And when he came, he, Chandra, he told to Chandrasekhar, you should give him a dhoti. Dhoti, you know? Yes. By Vash and Uttaya. He gave a new cloth, very fine. He refused to take it. I don't want this. I want any of oh, your old dhoti. And he gave and then he took it. And then he made oh, two or three pieces. One piece for Uttar Bahirbash and one other for this Uttariya, like this. And one for door and coffin. Mahaprabhu was so much pleased. And then Mahaprabhu was looking something. And then Sanatana Goswami quickly again went to Ganges and he saw any poor person, beggar, and he has a very worn and torn. Eh? Ah, yes, anything. And then oh, Sanatana Goswami gave his very costly blanket, very costly, and told that, can you give that Torn and old, that kambal like this, 
blanket, not blanket, but made of dirty and cloth. Oh, he was telling that, uh, oh, you are joking with me? Can you give this precious kambal to me? And you will take. I don't believe you. Then he thrown out. And possibly he took. And he oh, washed in Ganges. And then he returned. Mahaprabhu back and throw. So if you want to have Krishna praying, you will have to follow six Goswamis. All were so. Prabhupada, Das Goswami, Ji Goswami, Rupa Goswami, all. Anyone is not inferior to anyone. When we will try to judge, we will see that each of all are so high. We cannot decide. So humble. <laughs> Knowing all these special truths. So we, if we want to achieve the goal of our life, that is Krishna praying. You will have to anyhow follow in this birth or in lakhs and lakhs births, you will have to follow that process. Hmm? Gradually you can follow, or in a day, or in a moment, but you will have to follow. There is no other way. Hmm? Better to follow in this life. Hmm? Or some part go up. But you will have to follow. Then, Mahaprabhu asked something to him. I have come to this world, but I don't know who am I. <coughs> who am I? Hmm? Mahaprabhu told, Oh, have you Chaitanya Chaitanya? You have? You can read. But you have also? Also, you should read. Sanatan Goswami Bhat is inquiring from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Who am I? Who am I? Why did the three call You are reading Swamiji's translation and purpose. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shri Lassana Goswami Pad is inquiring from Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Not coming. Hare Krishna. Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhyalila Chapter 20, Text 102. Translation by Srila Isi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. In this verse, Srila Sanatana Goswami Pad is inquiring from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Who am I? Why do the threefold miseries always give me trouble? If I do not know this, how can I be benefited? Actually, I do not know how to inquire about sadhya, the goal of life, and sadhan, the process for obtaining it. Being merciful upon me, please explain all these truths. 
we know that I am Narayan Maharaj. Or we know that I am Isha Prabhu. I am Kesha Prabhu. I am so. Or, you know. Why this question came? Really, we don't know anyone that who am I really. By constitution. So he, <coughs> Mahaprabhu is telling, answering that you know all. You know all, really. But for others you are questioning. And Sadhu Sabhavi, Jani Dadha Lagi Puche. Why they ask questions to confirm it? So you are asking. And then he told that really you are not this sanatana, this physical body. Jivar Saupai Krishna Nitya Das. Krishna Rata Sasakti Bheda Bheda Das. Or Pat Ramiji has written. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied to Sanatana Goswami. It is the living entity's constitutional position to be an eternal servant of Krishna because he is the Tasta Shakti, the marginal energy of Krishna, and a manifestation simultaneously one and different from the Lord, like a molecular particle of sunshine or fire. Hmm. Hey, by constitution, all human, human beings, all creatures, birds, animals, even trees and creepers, very small worms, insects. Those who have life anyhow, they are all by constitution, eternal servant of Krishna. So we are also like this, no doubt. Eh? And Krishna Tatastha Sakti, then he tells, oh, all the conditions, uh, all the souls are Tatastha Sakti Parina. What? They are the transformation of the marginal potency. Not of Lagni and Sambhita or pure anything. Not from there. And then he is telling Krishna Bhuli Seiji Anadi Bhaibu 117. Mahaprabhu continued. Forgetting Krishna, the living entity has been attracted by the external feature from time immemorial. Therefore, the illusory energy Maya gives him all kinds of misery in this material existence. Our oh, question comes. If all the souls are eternal servant of Krishna, then when they become Vairmukh, when they became adverse to Krishna, adverse to turned Krishna. away from Krishna. When? That is here Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has told. Not Krishna Das Goswami. He has quoted the version of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that Krishna Bhuli Sei Jeev. Who Jeev? Eternal servant of Krishna. Hmm? Oh, Tatastha Sakti. Not Pure Sarup Shakti. This should be remembered always. Not of Sarup Shakti, Ji. Sarup Shakti from, from Sarup Shakti, Krishna, Nishinga, Ram, they are swans, they have come. But Vibhinam's Tattva Jeev never came from Sarup Shakti. So it is called Vibhinam's Jeev. So Atayev. Then how, why he became adverse to Krishna? This is the question. If Krishna, 
this eternal servant. Then he must serve him. But why it is called so? Then come in twenty-two, ten to thirty. Say Bibi Nan Sajiv, ten, twenty two, chapter ten. Say Bibi Nan Sajiv, a duit apakara, duit apakara, nitya sansa. Ek nitya mukta, ar ek nitya sansa. What? The living entities, jivas, are divided into two categories. Or jiva has been divided into two, quite obviously. Some are nitta mukta, eternally liberated, mm. and Second. others are eternally conditioned. Eternally conditioned. What it means? What it means? Eternally. Mm. What? What does it mean? Eternally conditioned. Eternally or forever. Not. Give, give her. The time that we've been conditioned is so vast that it cannot be calculated, but it doesn't mean forever. Then, ek nitya mukta ar nitya samsar nitya mukta krishna charane unmuk. Krishna Parishad Nam Bhunje Seva Shuk. Those who are eternally liberated. Oh, you said very carefully here. Those who are seniors. Or oh, those who are beginners, they cannot understand. But they should also try to. Those who are eternally liberated. That's very dominant thing. Hmm. What? Those who are eternally liberated are always awake to Krishna consciousness and they render transcendental loving service at the feet of Lord Krishna. Mm. They are to be considered eternal associates of Krishna and eternal they... Eternal associates of Krishna. Always engaging in serving Krishna. There is no Maya. There is only Yoga Maya. And they are always testing, relishing, the sweetness of serving of Krishna, always. There is nothing that they can forget Krishna or they can be adverse to Krishna. Never, never. There is nothing there. Always their love and action will renew again, new, 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 new. If there is no place to be new, again it Then. Nitya Baddha Nitya Baddha Krishna Vaite Nitya Bahir Mukh Nitya Sangsara Bunjai Narakadi Dhuk What meaning? Apart from the ever-liberated devotees, there are conditioned souls. You say, separate from the liberated ones, there are the conditioned souls. Krishna Vaite Nitya Bahir Mukh Oh, they have never tested, they have never served Krishna, the second class of Ji. Never. So it has been told Nitya Bahir Mukha. From beginning, they are Bahir Mukha. Hmm? Nitya Sansar Bhunje Narakadi Dukha. Apart from the ever liberated devotees, there are the conditioned souls who always turn away from the service of the Lord. They are perpetually conditioned in this material world and are subjected to the material tribulations brought about by different bodily forms in hellish conditions. Ehi dose maya pisachi dandakare tare adhya kadni tapatrahe kabe tae jari mare. Due to his being opposed to Krishna consciousness, the conditioned soul is punished by the witch of the external energies. Why punishment? Why punishment? What they have done wrong? What they have wrong? Hmm? Try to understand here is the point. 
they had done something wrong. And that is why Krishna is his Krishna Maya is punishing them. Why? This is the thing. What did we do? What is the defect there? What they have done wrong? Or they have something wrong? And that is why Maya is punishing them. Hmm? Oh, <coughs> you should know that. Here Nitya Baddha means Anadi Baddha. <coughs> but they are eternal Baddha from beginning. They have never served the Krishna. They have not realized the sweetness of serving Krishna. They don't know anything about this from beginning. But they are eternal servant by, by their constitutional position. That is why a word has come here, Tatastha Shakti. What is Tatastha Shakti? Like a marginal potency. Krishna has Sarup Shakti. And three Vrittis. Vrittis means? Functions. Huh? Three functions. Functions. What? Ladini, Shambhit, and Shambhit. Okay. Huh? Always they are serving there. By constitution, they are those servants. But they, are, they have never been in Golok Vrindavan. Never. They are from marginal point. And that marginal point is called Tatastha Shakti. <coughs> Tatastha Shakti. And from, from then, from Tatastha Shakti, Marapti Shakti is of Sarup Shakti. But it is not full. And Jeev has been there. For, coming from there. These Jeev. Not all Jeev. Those who are Jeeva. But always serving Krishna. They are nitya unmukh to Krishna. Always serving. And this second kind of jiva coming from where? Where Narayan Garbhoda Karnod Shabi Narayan is there. And there he Tatasha And Jiva Goswami has oh, clarified this thing. What he has told? Tadeva, Tadevam Ananta Eva, Jivakhata Sasa Sakti Tai. Gaudiya Kanta, Exo Exot. He telling, oh, there are, oh, Ananta, unlimited. unlimited. She was there from Tatasa Sakti. From there, or oh, some are like Vairmuk. Why? Because this place is like a, a Shopnasthan, like dream place. Oh, try to understand this. We are now in worldly full knowledge. We are awake. And one is in false sleeping. No dream, nothing. So this place is like dream place. He's seeing some dream. Not false sleep like so much. Oh, Unconscious, not he is unconscious. Because he is part of Chid Vastu. So he is not like this. And even he is not liberated. So he is in like a dream. But thinking I am real, I am in sense. So from here, O oh Krishna has given this intelligence them and freedom that from here all Anadi Baddhaji 
can think what should we do? Freedom. To look after Maya, this world, because this is a very fine imaginary line between Parlok and this Lok. This. So Jeev has some freedom there and Krishna gave them. Oh, you can from here, you can see this world, Maya. And from here you can see towards and what you like, it depends on you. I will give them minutes of time only or very moment seconds. You should at once. <coughs> and when they look anyhow to this world, they are attracted. This attraction, that why they decided that I should go there and to release this world. And those who look from there, from Tatasa Sakti, very near her, and they were <laughs> at once attracted. Jog Maya at once gave his power that they should come here mm. and serve Krishna for eternity. Mm. Do they go to the locals? Huh? they go back to Oh, they are liberated. Where went? Oh, question will come after. But. Mm. No? Here, if you are saying that Jeev or fallen from there, then Gita will be. Oh. Oh. How? Jadakatva na nivartante tatham parmam mama. What is the meaning? Gita 15, 6. Jadakatva. If anyone, any Bhagavad, practicing Bhakti Yoga in thousand and thousand births, if he is liberated and he has a chance to go that road, then he will never return. Anyone, the transcendental souls who are serving Krishna, oh, they are eternally liberated and serving Krishna. And those from this world, by practicing Bhakti Yoga, they are liberated and then serving Krishna in Bhakund, to Ram, to Nishingha, Kalki, Vaman, Dvarkadish, Mathuradish, or Krishna, anyhow. All are liberated. Oh, they have no chance to return. Chadagatva. Swamiji has written this. The, the people who disagree with this principle, they say that, yes, we accept the Bhagavad Gita, that once returning from this, once being in this world and going to Vaikuntha, you don't fall again but you fell the first time before you were in this world. No, because his, this principle will be go wrong. Those who are serving, there is no maya at all. There is no chance of being adverse. No chance at all. Hmm? So there is no question. Anyhow, if he has, he is eternal there, or he has come from, from, here. from here, he has, or oh, they cannot. Here, we should try to follow Jiva Goswami or Tattva Acharya. Let Mahaprabhu shine him, no heart. Bhadi Vidya Bhushan, Vishwanath Chapadvati Thakur, especially Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Vishwan. If anyone telling, and there is some doubt in his speaking, or oh, you'll have to accumulate, reconcile from other, our very bona fide gurus. And in this way, we know that <coughs> Jiva Goswami is a very bona fide guru in Tattva, especially in his Sadarbha. He has kept no doubt in any, anything, in any subject. But we will have to read this to reconcile. Especially you should read Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Shattam Goswami, his bona fide guru, like anyone, Rupa Goswami, Jiva Goswami, all. You can see all the special truths in 
Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Clearly he has told in Jaiva Dharma. But that I am telling in brief. I have that the part Bhakti Vinod Thakur has written in Jaiva Dharma. He had written that oh, so many eternal souls coming from Shankarshan there in Golok Vindhana or Baladev Prabhu. And they are eternally serving, serving in two ways. What way? Oh, in Madhurija, in Aswarya, like Sakha, all the Sakha, Nanda Baba and all there. And what about gopis? Oh, all are like Nitya Siddha, the Kaya view of Radhika. Bodily manifestation of Radhika. And those who are not bodily manifestation of Radhika, what, who are they? Oh, coming from Baldev, but eternal liberated. And they are serving Krishna. In Dwarka also, in also by Kuntha. In Dwarka from uh, Mul Sankarshan and in Vaikuntha, Mahasankarshan. And some are coming from Karnadishai Vishnu, from Tatast marginal line, from Tatastha Shakti. And they are of two kinds some liberated and some. He had clearly told us of all these things. Hmm? Now we will have to pass, reconcile all these things. Swamiji is in, he has accepted this line, Guru Parampara. Oh, more than us, and he is realized so. He cannot differ from all, all acharyas. He cannot tell anything what our Guru Parampara had not accepted. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur has accepted all. Srila <laughs> Prabhupada accepted Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur and he has accepted his Gurudev. So he cannot be differ. He cannot have any difference from Swamiji. He has accepted Jai Bhattacharya. I see that. There is nothing loop and hold, no doubt in the words of Swami. He has written correctly what Shastra has told. But there are no eyes to We should try to reconcile all these things. Oh, one Kirtan should be done. What? Gurudev, I was living with the editor that was supposed to translate the Jaiva Dharma and do, and do the editing for it. And he came to me and he said, Prabhu, this was the same person who was in the meeting. Yeah, yeah. He said to me, Prabhu, what do I do? I, I have a dilemma here. And so I said, what is your dilemma? And he said, in Jaiva Dharma it's so nice, and I'm doing the editing work for it, but it says here that the, that the uh, jiva is to touch the shakti, that it's a nichabada, like you were explaining. And I said, so what is the problem, Puru? And he said, so Bhakti Vinod Thakur is saying this, but this is different from the GBC's uh, <laughs> resolution, and they're quoting one letter of a, a leaf falling from my kunta or whatever. And I said, so, what, so what's the problem, Puru? I said, you have Bhakti Vinod Thakur, and you've got the GBC. <laughs> so anyway, he's not doing the translating, and he's the op. They cannot do. I pray Prabhupada. Yo. Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj. He should sprinkle mercy that they should know of what he wanted and to realize all the truths or oh, any sincere devotee. Oh, they will realize this fact. That what our Guru Parampara has told, Swamiji has told same thing but in English only. Nothing else. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't, I don't want to disagree with you, but um, I, I'm, I'm an Eifite devotee. I'm an Eifite devotee, but I'm a disciple of Srila Bhaktivedanta Swamiji. Swamiji, 
and uh, 29 years initiated. And I've read the books, and I just don't find... Now, I, I'm aware that Bhakti Vinod Thakur said in Jaiva Dharma these things, and I'm aware that the Gaudi math conception is that we come from the Tatasta region, and I cannot reconcile these things myself. Uh, you can reconcile the relationship with but uh, also, uh, for example, your, uh, you mentioned the verse about one who, who um, goes back to the spiritual world will never fall down, will never come back again. Our, our common understanding of this verse is that once you stick your hand in the fire, you've been burned, and so you won't do it again. Not necessarily that we come from... Uh, the Tatasta region. That's one example. Yeah, I know that he says the Jiva oh, is Tatasta. He has not written anywhere that the Jew has come from there. Has he written any word? Can you show? Or oh, they are expecting like so by their intelligence, but their intelligence cannot do anyone's intelligence. Oh, we will have to follow our line. Yes. Oh, like uh, that is the same thing. Same thing. Because our uh, constitutional is so that everything is that. Like a seed, you know, mango seed. Hmm? Oh, if you will keep in or fertile land anywhere, and give water. Gradually a sprout will come. And after some days, or oh, some leaves will come, branches will come. Or oh, in some year it will be a big tree. And so many leaves, so many branches, so many flowers, or so many manjaris will come. And one day it will come mango. But in, after some time, they will be ripened. And then a sweet juice will come. No? But if anyhow it is in his full form, no? our Jeev by constitution everything is that in she, but never developed. developed. Never developed. And it was in Tatasha Sakti in devotion. Never it was functioning. So by constitution, in mango seed, everything is there. Understand this thing? Yes. In mango seed, all the potencies of the trees, leaves, branches, fruits, how many leaves, everything is there. How sweet or how sour it is. Everything in seed. But it has not come out. So in this way, in constitutional form, like a seed, they were in the bodies of um, Karnabdashai Vishnu. And in his clans, they came in Maya. If you want to know all these things clearly, you should read very carefully under the guidance of a Vaishnava, Brahma Sankhita. Very authentic book. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And you can see all oh, very vividly everything there. Can I ask Back to Godhead magazine that Prabhupada originally started publishing in 1944. It says, back to home, back to Godhead. So what, what is the meaning of back to home, back to Godhead? What means? It means home every... is where? Karnabdashai Vishnu. But it says back and to Godhead. Also, oh, back from that back. Back to from that position, from marginal line, and then you will have to go to Baikunt. You have not come from Golok Baikunt. Anywhere Swamiji has written, any of our Acharya has not written like this. Our this mandal, mental aspect will have to follow anyhow our Guru Parampara. Swami Maharaj has written here, O oh, Jeevas in the spiritual sky of Sanjini Shakti. Oh, there, they are from Sandini, not that as this is written. He has written only for beginners. You should understand this. 
and he has indicated, he has quoted of the main books of Jiva Goswami, Sharan Darbha. Here, here he is, in a very few lines he has written only on bar. On bar only. Translation. Not so much explanation he has given. Then you will have to go to Jiva Goswami and Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami and other. Brahma Sangita, Srimad Bhagavatam. Everywhere you will see. Shiva Prabhupada says that uh, no possible for the Jiva to fall down from the spiritual world. In many, many places in his world, it's very clear. But if you get the example of the baby, American baby was born in India. His home is in America, but he's never been there. <laughs> you get that example. No, this, this is... No. We will discuss more. You should come friendly to me and we will discuss. I have friendly. <laughs> <laughs>